Welcome design mate at the Lille factory. We will start uh, to visit the factory uh, with uh, the drawing room and like the, the, the development uh, office. So we, we, because every product that we make here starts with a drawing. We work uh, with uh, AutoCAD 3D now, with uh, different types, with watercolors, even for some clients that they want a watercolor of their chandelier to approve it. That's contemporary drawings, 3D views. We have this type of detail too, uh, to create a new piece. We sculpt it. It's a chandelier that we, we have done many years ago, you see, and, and from this drawing, we, we, we have to make a new one. <laughs> Very nice one that we did for a client in Geneva recently, like six months ago. And here we, we keep mainly technical drawings and bronze models. Really, it's uh, for us, it's really like the kind of the treasure that we have because the company has been in the in the family for the, since the beginning so we, we have we kept everything so everything was is classified i mean most of it kept like the all the bronze model that we did for the tsar of russia in saint petersburg for tsarsko slo i think during world war ii they were protected in, in you know uh, and like in, in lost uh, stories so storage so today uh, we have less and less sculptures able to do this kind of detail and this know-how so for us it's a and it's a great history of you know the the interior design and chandelier and furniture design that we have here because when we have the drawing then we sculpt when it's a new piece we sculpt it in wood in resin or in plaster depends and then we cast it and once we have it casted we put the number and we keep the, the bronze model and to to be able to play with different models aim is to assemble mechanically with screws and everything without seeing it. And we don't weld because when you weld in, uh, in bronze you need to use uh, silver and silver is getting you know, oxidized black. So that's why we, 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 we mainly do assembling with screws. Everything we do uh, like contemporary design, art deco, uh, classical one, we are trying to bring you know the know-how to make it timeless. Within the years we have uh, a lot of uh, Louis XVI, I mean you know like the French let's say classical uh, time period and, uh, and, uh, and art deco and 1950s and today we are making a lot of contemporary. So here we do patina, we do gold leaf, we do uh, paintings, we do like all the, most of the finishes. You know, a console here, uh, like very patinated. So for example, this, pati this sconces, it's Louis XV style. Um, you can see they are symmetrical. Louis XV, they are, each pair, it's different. So it's like two different models. You can feel the chiseling, you know, like uh, here, all these elements here or here, like this is made by hand. Uh, here, you can see, you know, like the polish elements here, which is uh, flat, I mean, let's say flat. And then here, it's like hammered. It's some uh, samples that we did for another project is like egg, egg shell, uh, broken and glued together and then patinated in white on one side and gray on the other side. So you see that so these chandeliers, they are going to, uh, they were like it was restoration of chandeliers uh, for a Boucheron store, Boucheron uh, jewelry. Oh, this one is interesting. It's a, a development that we are doing for the Pinot, you know, for caring. Um, you see, um, it's Francois Pinot. You know, he's one of the billionaire in France yeah. who belong like uh, a lot of luxury brands. And he, he did a museum in Venice, and now he's doing a Bourse de Commerce, a museum, a co contemporary museum with Tadao Ando, which is a, f a Japanese designer. And we are doing, uh, we are creating the lighting for this project. Tadao is such a minimalist. Yes, so, so he wants like really, you know, 
like uh, kind of minimalist lightings. So that's why you know he did some sketches, some drawings. So the the the, the idea is the the building, which is very impressive, uh, is uh, is uh, he has to be. The first thing that you see, so like everything else, like even the, sh the chandeliers, they have to be discreet. They have to be to belong to the, but with a contemporary way. It can be very complex technical drawings. This one is a you see here, it's an Art Deco chandelier with Murano leaves. Uh, so uh, we do mock-up in uh, in resin. Then we, we or, or in wood, then we send it to Murano. The glassmaker makes like the actual leaves, and then with crystal we can work with rock crystal. We can work with Bohemian crystal, with amethyst. This one, for example, it's uh, it's iron with gold leaf with uh, Bohemian crystal. So this lantern, for example, we created it for the Grand Trianon in Versailles. But it's my grandfather, it's grandfather, yeah, who did it. And so it's a very, and this, these two uh, lanterns, they are going to the US now for a private project. Yeah, I would like to, to create like a, a clock, like because we, we, we've done um, a lot of clocks for the King of Serbia and the King of Belgium. And I think like the clock is really a, a mechanical, uh, amazing piece but if we could play with the mechanical with you know all the outside like the the, the ornaments and uh, but in a contemporary style it would be another idea would be to to same to create like a like piece of furniture that we used to do with a like we did a very we, we, we created amazing furniture in, in like wood and, and, and bronze and we to probably to create today like more even more modern and contemporary um, creation in, in, and in furnitures in, in wood and in bronze. 99% of our projects are with interior designer. So it can be interior designer for historical monuments, it can be interior designers for uh, like public building or retail stores or hotels or with private customers. It can be a like very uh, grandiose uh, hotel like the Four Seasons Georges V or the Ritz in Paris or it can be uh, like very unique private clients. It really depends on the on the project. Let's say timeless but what's make contemporary is like the design behind it. So uh, we are uh, trying to be really uh, working with contemporary designers and I would like even to convince even more contemporary uh, designers to work with us because uh, we can bring them um, uh, our uh, point of view, uh, not being uh, like uh, old fashioned, let's say, but like bringing a very specific uh, and detailed know-how to their design. Each year we are, we are presenting a collection uh, with a designer or with a brand. So uh, this year we presented Amazon, which is a contemporary collection with Nicolas Aubagnac as a designer. Uh, last year we did with uh, a Jinko collection, which is a collection uh, of bronze and crystal with Lalique. And uh, next year we will present a new collection with uh, Elliot Barnes, collection of alabaster, bronze and leather. Every year we, we are trying to, you know, to to even find new challenges uh, to develop our company. I think there is, a t there is two sides. The first side, which was like the main one, it's uh, like the like Louis XV Russian style, Pavlov's, Pavlovsk style, what we did for the Tsar of Russia, what we did for many projects for a long time, uh, for hundred uh, some years. Uh, in Russia, so that's let's say the classical uh, style of uh, Tsarskoe Selo, of like the big palaces. And the other side is we feel more and more is uh, to to bring the, to have more contemporary uh, products with details. And I think like what I like about the the Russian clients, it's that they understand what we do. It means they understand the quality. They the best example is when you go in the Moscow in the subway you know you it's marble and bronze so you know there is a, this history of uh, 
of and really close to each other with friends. I mean, we have the same culture. I really think we understand each other. Mm -hmm. So even if classical or uh, contemporary.